welcome friends in our SSIS tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to show you how to use a aggregate SSIS package. So basically, what is aggregate transformation in SSIS? If you are aware about SQL Server and you have already used some aggregate functions like some some of a column, some of a average of a column, count of a column, minimum date, maximum date, minimum value, minimum maximum value, minimum salary, minimum maximum salary. So these are the example of aggregate functions. And the same thing is available in SSIS in terms of for aggregate transformation. A feature uh, of uh, uh, aggregate transformation which is simple as is in SQL Server. So here we have a we have some files like like this we have a sales data and uh, in sales data you can see we have a regional and uh, country item type sales channel order type total revenue total cost and total profit so in our SSIS package we have already created connection manager over here now you can see we are pulling all the data from that uh, row files and here there is no aggregation right now and we need to do some aggregation in our raw data file before load this data into the destination okay now here what we are going to do here first of all we are going to drop a data flow task now if we are going to write uh, double click on data flow task now you can see we have the uh, we are in data flow control okay now here we are just going to pull the source assistant okay that is our flat file okay and we are going to choose flat file connection manager you know now you can see okay uh, now we are going to use a transformation that is aggregate transformation okay just uh, link our flat file source to aggregate function transformation so i am going to click on edit now you can see which column we need to choose as a group by so region country and sales channel this would be the country and these are the group by because these are the string values string values always group by now we are going to total revenue total cost and total profit as a sum of now these are the operation now you can see group by count country and these are the things now these are the we are going to sum okay and click on ok button now we have applied our aggregate transformation to our raw data file now we need we need to enable here the data viewer okay after that we need to see the row we are using row sampling okay and row connect our aggregate function to transform transformation to row sampling here now just enable this data viewer also now our package is ready to run here we are going to run this package now, 
ऑफर पैकेज रोज एंड कॉलम्स पर डेटा व्यूअर आफ्टर अप्लाइंग द एग्रीगेट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ इन दिस व्यूअर इन दिस डेटा यू कैन सी दैट रीजन कंट्री सेल चैनल इज अवेलेबल एंड टोटल रेवेन्यू ओके एंड टोटल कॉस्ट एंड टोटल प्रॉफिट इज अवेलेबल हेयर सो ओके नाउ यू कैन सी देर is around 1000 rows which is coming from the source file and after using the aggregate function it is showing 355 rows only which is group on region country and sales channel okay right now i am going to stop this package and go to the aggregate function uh, transformation again and here i am going to remove the sales channel so my data is uh, group on only region and country and uh, the sum column is total revenue total cost and okay if i want to use a um, uh, yeah item type so in item type i am using the count function okay you can see this is the, this is the data and now i am going to edit on this and uh, there is the columns okay total uh, cost and total profit and this is the column i need to uncheck total uh, sales channel because in transformation section aggregate transformation section we have removed sales channel and add a item type okay and click on okay button right now now i am going to execute uh, my package again here these are the all columns which is coming from the source file and these are the columns which is uh, coming after applying the aggregate transformation now you can see that okay there is only 185 rows right now so you can see whenever you are going to some transformation adding or removing columns uh, for group or uh, group by definitely your output is going to be changed so you can see it is very easy to use a aggregate transformation in your package so please subscribe my channel on youtube for more videos on ssrs ssis sql server data warehouse data modeling azure and SSS also. Thank you for watching us.